Good morning. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and welcome you to worship here at Second Congregational Church of Cohasset on this gray but still beautifully spring-like Earth Day weekend. Constantino, thank you for that bright way to start out our worship. You might have noticed our youth group is joining us today. No, I haven't turned them into androids, but they will be joining us in a hybrid service, as many of them are completing their April break and are in various places. We'll start our worship this morning by joining... There's no words in here. You know the first verse, right? Okay, let's sing the first verse of Morning Has Broken, and my apologies. The second verse is in there, or the second hymn has the words. Constantinos, please. having the choir and singing a familiar hymn even without words. Thank you all. That sounded lovely. Oh, we have a few announcements this morning. Um, the flowers, beautiful flowers, were given by Kristen Voldan, or Kristen Voldan in memory of her father, um, Bernie Zelenskis' birthday. Uh, you might remember he died about two years ago. And the flowers are lovely. Kristen, I know that you are watching. We have Whirl Sunday School immediately after worship today. It will be on Zoom. We do not have youth group tonight. As I said, we're, uh, the students are finishing their spring break. There will be a deacons meeting on Wednesday at 7 o'clock, and it will also be on Zoom. And I understand there will be a discussion about whether we'll begin to um, come back to in-person meetings following that. Connie, I, did, I, I stole the microphone, so can I make the Mother's Day watch? The uh, 25th annual Louis D. Brown Mother's Day Walk for Peace is coming up, and Compassionate Cohasset is again fielding a team welcoming contributions and you can see Connie or there's a website link on the e-blasts that are going out. Are there any other announcements? Jack? I'm going to get to that in a second, but yeah, you're absolutely right. What a perfect lead in. Jack's my plant. <laughs> I thank you all for your support as I was away this last week, um, taking advantage of the students' spring break so I could take some time. And I went to visit my father, who came back with me. John Bailey is with us today. <laughs> we'll be driving back on Thursday, and I'll be back on Saturday next week so that we can make the transition. But if you see New York plates, it's because we're driving his car. George, I thank you for covering for me um, and any emergencies that came up. And, and Jack so ably helping out um, to keep the building together this week uh, as we had some transitions um, with the spring break. 
Turning to joys and concerns, one of them is a concern for a loss. Bob Tusher, our sexton, his son died very unexpectedly um, just last week. So Bob's taking some time to ease his heart, and we hold him and his family in prayer. I spoke to um, Linda Campbell this week, as well as Martha Horsfield. They are both convalescing well. Um, Martha tells me that her injury is healed, but her sciatica is making her nuts. So if you would hold her in prayer. And Linda Campbell is recovering from shoulder surgery, which she um, has good hopes for in the longer term, but is mighty uncomfortable in the shorter term. I also talked to Marsha um, Sylvia yesterday, and she reports that her brother-in-law, Michael, while he is still quite sick, is also doing much better and is um, on the mend. Are there others we should hold in prayer this week? then I would remind us that our God hears our prayers, the spoken and the unspoken. Let us continue our worship in love and in truth. For all for whom it's comfortable, would you please rise and join our students in the call to worship. I'm going to sit because that's how I managed to make that work. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let all the earth praise the name of the Lord. We gather today to rejoice in the creation of the world. God in his infinite compassion has lovingly formed our planet and all that live within it. He declared his creation good and entrusted us to care for it along with each other. Sometimes in our everyday lives, we forget our responsibility to care for nature. Today, as we reflect on the marvels and wonders of the creation, let us renew our commitment as good stewards of the earth. Amen.
Constantinos, that was lovely. Thank you. I'm sure my confirmation and youth group will not fully appreciate me freezing the frame right there. But I did want to say a few words about the service that they put together for you this morning. Um, while we could potentially have done great cinemato cinematographic things, I'm not even sure if that's a word, part of the reason that today's service is structured the way it is is to kind of invite you to into what their experience has been for this last year. Our students have been remarkably faithful about participating in two and three time a month Zoom youth group and confirmation classes. And it's been quite wonderful. Often it looks like this. If I'm to share the screen, we only get to see each other in little boxes. There will be other parts that you'll see. Um, they're full faces. They are each in their own right so talented. You might have noticed at the beginning the, um, the earth with the plants growing out of it. Hannah Nichols, who is in this confirmation class, she's a ninth grader at Cohasset High School, drew that as her submission to the Earth Day um, the art contest. She came in second, and that was simply because of the themes. Her art, as with the, the winner and the um, people who came in third and the runners-up, are just such remarkable representations of the talent of our young people and Hannah's in particular stole all of our hearts as for its artistry. As you see the different slides as we get into this presentation, the students did that, did the, um, the slides and the reflections themselves. Henry Sinisvet took it upon himself to put the slideshow together and the service was planned by your students. The breakout group is the way that they all go off and talk without me and I would come back after their reflections and find out they were done because they were all gone. But they did this. So we will continue with a, a moment to see Hannah's beautiful art again and then their reading of an adaptation of the creation story from Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God said, let there be light, and there was light, and God saw that it was good. God separated the light from the darkness and called the light day and the dark night. On the second day, God created a dome in the middle of the waters. God said, let the dome be separated from the waters, and it was so. And God saw that it was good. He called the dome sky. On the third day, God said, let the waters under the sky be gathered onto one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God saw that it was good. He called the dry land earth and the waters seas and oceans. On the fourth day, God said, let there be lights in the sky in the day and in the night. And it was so. And God saw that it was good. He called the light in the day sun and lights in the night stars. On the fifth day, God said, let there be living things and living creatures in the waters and in the skies. And it was so. And God saw that it was good. He called the living things and creatures in the waters, fish, seaweed, and underwater plants, and the creatures in the skies, birds. On the sixth day, God said, let there be living things and living creatures on the surface of the earth. And it was so. And God saw that it was good. He called the creatures cattle, lions, squirrels, deer, and all the other animals of the earth. And called the other living things flowers and trees. Then God said, let there be human beings made in my image. Let these humans rule over all the other animals and living creatures on earth. Let them use plants and seedlings for food and to make shelter and tools. Let them make the land and seas of earth as their home. And it was so, and God saw it, that it was good. 
He breathed life into the humans and blessed them, making male and female. He called the humans man and woman. Then God looked at all he had made, the day and the night, the sky, the land and the seas, the sun and the stars, the living creatures in the oceans, the skies and the earth, and the humans in God's own image. And God saw that it was very good. Let us join in our hymn. We gather today to rejoice in the creation of the world. God, in their infinite compassion, has lovingly formed our planet and all that live within it. They declared this creation good and entrusted us to care for it along with each other. Sometimes in our everyday lives, we forget our responsibility to care for nature. Today, as we reflect on the marvels and wonders of creation, let us renew our commitment as good stewards of the earth. First Day Reflection in a world full of darkness, God created a light that was warm, comforting, pure, and holy. Separating the dark from the light creates two different yet beautiful times of day where now nature and people flourish on either side. These two different forms of light are what God called day and with it light and night, which brought a calm darkness. So my pictures for the second day is all about the sky that God created on the second day he established earth and there's some clouds showing and there is water that was also reflected upon by making the sky. And my reflection is that this message made by God represents how important the sky is towards our earth and our everyday lives. God saw that creating a sky on earth was a good thing. God created the sky by reflecting how beautiful it would be by the dome separating earth and the water that he created. Today, the earth sky has been admired by many people in the world and it is a pleasing aspect to earth created by God. The message is that God created all land and ocean on earth. This land and water is very important for humans and other animals. God made the land and the waters separate from each other, and the land is dry and the water is wet. Land and water are not separate anymore because of many lakes, rivers, and other bodies of water. God saw that creating light in the day and in the night was good. The stars and the sun are very beautiful, and as we look at the stars today, we see millions of them. God putting light in the day and night shows how important both the stars and the sun are to our everyday lives. The message of the fifth day is to highlight God's creation of some of the animals that make up this world. God created fish, seaweed, and birds to add an extra element of beauty to this world and they now fill the oceans and skies.
The message by God is that Earth was created for us and we are the inhabitants of Earth, meaning we are responsible for Earth and what will happen to it. We must protect our home and keep it clean and divine. This is our home and we must try our best to keep it safe. Lord, creator of all living things, help guide our daily actions and thoughts to become better stewards of the earth. May we live in harmony with the earth. Guide us to act responsibly, care for the earth you gave us, and make wise choices in our everyday living. May we live in harmony with the earth. May we use the resources we need with love, humility, and thoughtfulness without guilt without fear, without waste. May we live in harmony with, that, with the earth. M may we live, may we live together with the animals with which we share this planet. Be careful not to harm them or their habitats. May we live in harmony with the earth. May we respect the life in our lakes, rivers, and oceans, using them with care and being mindful in our efforts to not pollute them. May we live in harmony with the earth. May we learn to live within our means by reducing our waste and co continuing to reuse and recycle all that we can. May we live in harmony with the earth. Um, may we plan to leave the world in a state that all future generations will be able to enjoy, ensuring that it is filled with resources, life, and kept healthy and clean. May we live in harmony with the earth. Let us now continue in prayerful silence before concluding with the Lord's Prayer. your generosity is beyond our capacity to fully embrace and yet we would embrace your gifts care for your earth nurture your children and be your faithful stewards as we strive to be servants to all that you have created hear us as we take both comfort and hope in the words your son taught us to pray together our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
the pictures that you saw at the last part of the student's reflection were pictures we took when they went over to Government Island after the hospitality we received from the town and from the sailing club through the summer and the fall when there was a Cohasset cleanup day. We went over there and all of those bags, there were, there were uh, 12 of us plus me and we ended up with 13 bags of trash that just needed to be picked up. Oh, I know many of you joined us yesterday for the Cohasset cleanup in honor of the spring's Earth Day. And in addition to the dumpster, which is still in the back of the parking lot and got a lot of traffic, it was endearing to see the number of not only individuals and groups, but families who would bring their young children and go and clean up, but in the same breath, teach them what it means to take care of our earth. It is good. This is the time of our offering. Let us reflect on our blessings and hear the good music. God of abundance, teaching us still, guide us that we might care for all your gifts and use them for the building up of your kingdom and for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Please be seated. <laughs> ignore the falling stairs.
The message of the benediction is to show God's creation of all living things and how beautiful they are. God created all living things on this earth and all of the living things have a job or responsible or, respons or a responsibility to stay alive and to thrive. And now may God, creator of all living things, guide us to act responsibly in caring for our planet. Teach us to be better stewards and help us to make wise choices in our everyday living for the sake of the earth and for all. Amen.